What's good, YouTube? Adrian the Kid, and I'm lit. We back in this bit, man. Today we got Air Rack, $1, $1 versus $10,000 public dares, you know what I'm saying? Now, look, man, public dares be getting wild, you know what I'm saying? I've only seen a few of them in person, you feel me? Let's get it. Strangers to do dares for $1, $1,000, and all the way up to $10,000. Just to see, see how that? far people are willing to go to step out of their comfort zone. Now, my That's friends crazy. and I do stuff like this to each other. I'm not going to jail for I thought for, I'd change for, things up today and give strangers yeah. the opportunity to try this for themselves. You know, I thought to myself, well, we were making this video, where in this city could I go to find the most interesting characters possible? And there is absolutely no place like Venice Beach, California. For $10, would you GTA. step out of your comfort zone? Yeah! You're like, you're too, no, no, you're already too far out of your comfort zone. You want to step out of your comfort zone for a grand today? Any chance you would want to make a thousand dollars? No, I can't. No. Like, step out of your Turning zone. it down like that is crazy. Are you serious? Yeah, normally. Uh, it's not anything crazy. You don't have to get naked. I would just That's put you. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Tom. I love you. Tom, Mr. Holland. Now that we got our first that boy training for Smarter Man 5. Extremely fancy restaurant called Jim's Kitchen. Filled with real guests. And I'm going to send Tom in there as a fake waiter and got him through three levels that each push him further outside of his comfort zone. The further you go, the more money you make. It's pretty simple. Sweet. Right on. Why did you. Agree right on, mate. Well, my mom passed away recently. Really? Damn. Uh, she did. I just think life's short and I'm, I'm trying to make the most of it. So. You ever, you ever been sucked into anything like this? I've done some weird shit, but this is new. Good luck in there. Let's do it. I appreciate All right, come it. on, will you? I have a bug in Tom's ear Tom? so I can talk him through what he needs to do. Now, I only put one waiter in this room, so Tom is completely responsible for feeding all of these people. Yeah. Everyone, he's got food, right? Yes. Oh, thanks for that. All right, Tom, for level one to earn one dollar, I want you to grab the Parmesan and the cheese grater and go around and grate cheese for people on their plates. But instead of stopping when they want you to stop, you're gonna stop when I say to stop. <laughs> Tom, I want you to fill this man's plate to the brim. What brings you in today? He's trying to have a conversation so we can buy more. Bro, he's so close, cool. Okay. Keep going, keep going. He's supposed to turn the cheese grater yeah. so, so the oh, cheese yeah. come out. Yeah, I know you like that cheese. Oh, okay, that's, that's not <laughs> I'm still going. Sorry, say when. Oh, what when? Keep going, keep going. <laughs> I'm good. I like that. Keep going. I know you love that cheese. No, no, no. I'm okay. That's cool. Man. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> All right. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, you're good. All right, you're good. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I thought I was going to be here all day. Cheese? <laughs> I'm okay. Great choice, actually. Dude, Tom is a legend. I feel like people are going to think he's a paid actor. I, a hey, I, I like cheese, though, so I, I wouldn't even stop in there. You just earn yourself $1 on level one. Right, one dollar? What's one next? <laughs> For level two, for one hundred dollars, what I want you to do is go around and eat food off of the customers' plates. Do you accept my challenge? Oh yes. <laughs> and eat food off of. Lev bro, for a hundred dollars, bro. He said it was real customers, though. You know what I'm saying? The customers' like, plates. Do you accept my challenge? Oh yes. Oh no, he's so eager. How you doing, brother? What's your name? Stefan. Stefan. It's been a bit of a day so far. Sorry. Anyway, in England, Brussels sprouts are a delicacy. Would you mind terribly if I just had a little taste of home? A little taste of home is uh, crazy. No, it's not appropriate, bro. No. No, 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 no. You can't do that, bro. You're working, man. No, no. I understand. He's yeah. yeah okay, so he's hungry, bro. I have a job to do, so you should do that. Bro. Oh my God. See, I would see, I would have just took one off. This guy is not having it. I would have just took one off his plate and walked away. Let him take a sliver of food off. Oh, I almost said a crazy word. How's your cheese? Uh, oh. Is he leaving? That was almost what? bad. Oh, he's playing the piano. Look at that guy. Tom just distracted them <laughs> and took their food. <laughs> Maybe you can steal his food while he's gone playing piano. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, no. He just got up and played the piano for no oh, reason. Oh, that wow. Oh, he saw it. Is anything else for me? Tom, you just earned yourself $100. Are you at all interested? I would never play with my life like oh, that. Oh, yes. Bro. I am on it. All right, so first I need you to bring out the dessert. I believe dessert is in order. And once you're done serving everyone, what you're going to do is start a food fight. Very much hope you've enjoyed your experience at Jim so far. <laughs> There's no way they did. I don't know if any of you have met Jim. He's a terrible chef. He's dreadful. However, the dessert course Jim famously feels is better mixed with the oils of the human body. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> bro, I can't tell if you're mad or not. Bro, the <laughs> we're, just, we're just starting the bro. On the count of three, I want everyone in this room to throw everything on their plate at me. One. Oh, no, oh, they're all getting around him. Two. Three. Oh! Bro. Found him. Two. Three. 
This whole fit costs $45 million, bro. How dare you? Wow, Bonjour. Tom, congratulations, you can make your way to the van. Bro, everyone in that room is covered in food right now. I can't Bro. tell if they had a positive Was that real? Experience. No way, no way, there's no way. They were all yeah. paid actors, bro. Or if you don't want this that, bro. Congratulations, here's your money. Congratulations. Everybody comment if you want Tom to come back and do a video. I guess on to the next bit. Now he might have had to step out of his comfort zone in front of 20 or 30 people. But what if the room was 50 times bigger? Well, there just so happens to be a show in Philadelphia and my friends, two friends, DJ duo, and I'm gonna try to get somebody to step out of their comfort zone. Guys, That's I have crazy. a question for y'all. Would you step out of your comfort zone for $1? No, probably not. I'm not gonna lie, walking up to people ask, like, like saying it like that kind of seems like, like, you mean something else, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, would you step out of your, you know, it's like, like, clothes? I hope That's you guys have like. a great night, I though. You too. Why was that so awkward? I have a question for you. Would you be down to step out of your comfort zone for $10? She's not down. Would you be down to step out of your comfort zone for $10? Let's go. Why was this so easy? Because I'm always down for an adventure. What's your name? Rachel. You're coming with me. I'm not letting go. There's a show going on downstairs. Whoa. Right? Everybody else is down there having a good time. How far out of your comfort zone are you actually willing to go? I'm willing to give anything a try once. You I could see. say you've been preparing your whole life for this moment. I'm built for any moment. We will okay. find out if that's true or not. It was time to see how prepared Rachel truly was. To do that, I'm going to have her perform as a fake musician known as DJ Dumpster Fire. All right, DJ backstage. Dumpster Rachel Fire. Rachel is about to go on instead of the DJ that everyone paid to see two friends bro so like bro my question is like what were these people doing before this moment and then why why did they stop what they were doing to join thank you so much for letting us crash the set now the goal is to push i mean that money is involved zone today but another thing that could push people out of their comfort zone starting a business and that is made mm. easy with the help of shopify in person and across all i started my company their point of sale system. Yep. Trust Shopify because they powered millions of businesses across 175 countries. Oh, they can help Time you finally start the business that you've been dreaming about. All right, we're gonna turn down the music right on the uh, drop. When the music cuts, tell them it hurt your ears, so you just like didn't want to go too loud. <laughs> oh my God. No way, bad. people pay you. Pay. Them they're gonna have to be good boys and girls. You gotta be good boys and girls. Be good. <laughs> Okay, that's level two. I actually started using Shopify five years ago, which means Nika, I'm bro, that, bro, right, bro, 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 really surprise for you. I'm going to let the boys tell you. All right, so our dude Marshmallow is actually here tonight. Oh, no they W Marshmallow. His face, but for $1,000, you can take off his helmet and reveal his identity to everybody, okay? Marshmallow does for not the first time ever. This. this is up to you whether you want to reveal his face or not. The one thing I didn't tell you guys was that does not know that you're doing this. This is up to you whether you want to reveal his face or not. Uh, okay, so it's just a fake one. But it's like, imagine, like, like Dream. You know what I'm saying? Dream had that, that stupid smiley face mask. Matt, you take his mask off for the first time. Uh, the one thing I didn't tell you That's guys crazy. was that um, I am Marshmallow tonight. It's pretty legit. I look pretty legit, yeah. right? You're going to do great. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marshmallow be producing beats if y'all like I would have put that, put the Roblox mask on. Get out there and like, she didn't hesitate at all. Oh, there she is. She just took that shit off. <laughs> You're so excited. I feel like I'm at a fail at pushing you out of your comfort zone. Do you think I need to go harder on the rest of the video? Oh, the next or? to people, yeah. Right. You need to go harder. Philadelphia was fun, but I had an even bigger idea, like really, really big. And what better place to do it than the biggest city in America? Oh. Is there any shot? You biggest city in America is Jacksonville. You know what I'm saying? Look it up if you don't believe me. You want to be a part of my game show today? No, no, no. Sir, is there any shot you want to be? Uh, any shot you want to be on my yeah. game show? All right. <laughs> oh, man, this is New York is full of name? busy. My name's Andy. I'm doing a game show today where I'm paying people to do embarrassing things. Is there any shot you'd want to do that with me? Uh, I'm sorry. I, look, I'm, I don't know, man. I just I just moved here like three days ago. I moved here to be an actor. What if I were to pitch you on acting like a tour guide? Look, I you seem like the type of guy that's pretty difficult to embarrass. To be honest, is that what we're bed. doing? You're gonna try and embarrass me? Yeah. Good luck. We're gonna have fun today. Oh, yeah. Good luck. All right, Andy. Today you're going to be a tour guide on this ferry full of strangers. I'm gonna need you to put this. In your today you're going to be a tour guide on this ferry. Real full tour of boat. Strangers. I'll expect in a great tour of the Big Apple. I'm gonna need you to put it's this crazy. in your ear. I'll be below deck so I can speak in your ear and tell you what you need to do. Why do they We're call New York the Big Apple? All the way to 
I thought I was like Apple. And I've got three levels of embarrassment for Andy. It looks like everyone's having a great time, so let's introduce everybody to Andy. So, uh, my name's uh, Captain Tim, and I'll be your host today. Why do you lie? <laughs> Turn around and just go, wow, look at that view. Wow, look at that view. Holy sh. Holy sh. <laughs> no one's paying attention. They're just. <laughs> We're about to enter level one. As you can see, all of our wonderful tourists are getting drinks served to them. So, Andy, for one dollar, I need you to go around and take a drink out of all of these people's cups. No. I should have gotten some water. You don't mind if I just. Sorry, I, I get really tired. Oh. No. And he put his lips. Oh, <laughs> Yo. What is it? At least water falling. Oh, oh yeah. So, oh. She is not happy. Mind if I just only skill one. That's refreshing. Well, oh, careful. You don't want to wither that. Oh. No, I got, I got, I got some. Are you gonna pull a shoey or what? A oh. uh, what? <laughs> I didn't know what a shoey was, but he just pulled a shoey. Jiminy Crickets. Much better. No Congratulations. Did he just throw his shoe oh, out, bro? This man just threw his shoe to, to the specific ah, ocean. Bro, it's crazy. It's right there. I've actually never been to the Statue of Liberty. Me right, neither. Andy, we're entering level two. I need you to stand at the front of the boat. I barely That's ever left Florida. All right, guys, I present to you the Statue of Liberty. I need you to give a speech convincing these people that the Statue of Liberty should have been a man. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I know how to finesse this. You, you could have been like, like, so, so, um... Damn. When when they were constructing this, it was originally supposed to be a man, but they realized that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I would, I would try to finesse it. Interesting facts surrounding the Statue of Liberty. I don't know if you guys knew this one. It should have been a man. I mean, try to get somebody to agree with you. Dude or a lady? I prefer a dude. You prefer a dude? I would feel like I could like resemble and empathize more if it was a guy. All right, now flip your perspective entirely and make him feel bad about it. It's kind of like now you're really trying to gaslight him. Attitude, though, you know? I don't know if I. What? Would <laughs> I don't know if I'd say that. Attitude. Yeah, like, you think it should just be like this guy that's like, oh, look at my huge <laughs> Andy, you can stop trying to make Mr. Liberty happen. You just won $100. You are now entering. It's so crazy, level bro. Level three. Let's go, baby. Or level three. I need you to get as many people as you can to jump off the back of the boat with you in celebration of your birthday. This is what, what? happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable You didn't even ask if he could swim. You guys know it's actually my birthday today. Guys. Build it up, build it up. This is the best day of your life. This is probably like one of the best days of my life because I got to share it with you guys. I got to share it with you guys. Anyone wants to help me celebrate, I'd love you to join me is up wait, here is it actually on the boat as we jump off together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jumping off this boat. You guys come with me? Uh, no. You're seriously gonna do it. Give me a liberty or give me death! <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. All type of Why? You gotta give him 10k after that. This is one thousand one hundred and one dollars. You gotta give him 10k. Make it a Make it a minute. It's all right. It's all good. Three hours ago we were strangers. Now we're best friends, and you're soaking wet. A next bit, I guess. Or the grand finale. Hey, W Andy, man. Stadium to find someone who will push themselves further than anyone in this video. So go to jail. Ten thousand dollars to win the field right now. Right now. Yeah. Nah, I'm not doing it. Oh, okay. That's me. Uh, yeah. If I pay my bail, I'll pay your bail. I wish I could, but I can't. And, 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 and my hands right here. Do it. Bro, once in a lifetime opportunity. Night with the boys. 10K? 10K to get tackled by security and you're going to jail. Oh, oh my God. Time is gone. We've got a fan running onto the field. He did it. Oh. W. Juke. Dang, I don't, I don't like that last one, bro. Cause it's like it's like you know what I'm saying that's a lot of money. You know what I'm saying for somebody who do, who obviously doesn't have it. But like, damn, bro. Bro just risked his freedom. I, 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 yeah, he risked his freedom for 10k. He sold out, man. But look, man, that's wrap it up for this vid, man. W vid, you know what I'm saying? I can't complain too much. You know what I'm saying? But hope y'all enjoyed, man. If y'all did, make sure you leave like you know what I'm saying. Comment down below what I share your next man. Follow my associate at the bottom of the kid and let the mother be man.